at the Palace of Culture in the center of Orhe. Behind me is the bus station. In front of me is the doctor's office and pharmacy. Looking up this road is the main street and a large monument. The Palace of Culture has some communist, socialist These are the medical offices and some interesting looking apartments along the street. Most houses will have a small garden I noticed one trash can missing there. Uh, these trash cans are along the street. This is where the locals put their trash and recycling. And this is um, some private garages where locals have a place to park their car and usually it has electricity. You can see the yellow gas piping for the gas supply to each house. And each house will have a, a wall or a fence. This one has two fences. And of course a small garden for vegetables and I see some grapes growing there above there. And you can see the piping for the gas goes all the way down the street. And each house has a wall or a fence. This wall is pretty fancy. Newly constructed. There is some green space in between the housing and the road. Notice the pole up on the concrete there. There's a trash can along the road. These are emptied quite frequently. Now I'm getting to the main uh, road in the lower part of Orhe. You can see a couple of small green spaces between us and the main road. The main road is quite busy, uh, mainly light industrial or auto shops. Things in Orhe, things in Orhe are quite uh, well maintained. And there's a couple of green spaces. Some trash. 
On the right hand side is mainly residential, on the left hand side is light industrial and auto sales. Sometimes the house comes right up to the road. But usually there's a wall between the house and the, and the sidewalk. Orhe bus stop. These buses go around Orhe and they're quite frequent and many people do use them. Uh, that particular bus stop was empty but usually in the center the bus stops are more uh, used. And this is a typical green space here. It's a large ditch and then a line of trees. Where there's more space the city will put two lines of trees. Now to the right is going up the hill and to the left is kind of down in the valley. Here's a house that faces the street without a wall in between. Electric bikes and electric scooters are not uncommon. Now on the right hand side here that this is kind of a light industrial area here this is not residence but for the most part it's it's residential and we're back to housing here
it's pretty flat here. Um, we're, this is kind of down in the valley. Moldova is situated mainly on a hill and it goes down to the river on one side and down to this road on the other. This is looking up the hill, or at least part way up. In this video, we'll be going all the way to the top of the hill. And uh, this is a 40 minute walk. These street views are not um, available on Google Maps. So this is a uh, this is something that cannot be seen in, on Google Maps. And this is a very small village. So I'm not sure if Google's going to get around to doing it or not. So. This is an auto service center. And over here, the gentleman's working on a few tires. Don't want to get in the way, but want to use the sidewalk nonetheless. It's early November. Most of the leaves are off the trees. Temperature is in the 50s. The village of Orhe is serviced by um, a bus line, uh, what I consider a mashutka, and it goes um, usually on the half hour, and it starts pretty early in the morning, but it wraps up about uh, 6, 6.30 at night. And uh, there's no, no trains going here. There's another local bus stop. These are local bus stops. This is the Orhe Transit. So there's only only one way really to get here other than driving and that would be taking the Mashutka from Kishino. Now there's the Orhe Transit right there. That's the Orhe bus. So this village is sort of remote because it's not on the train line, but that's uh, not too unusual for Moldova. This not that it's not very well connected by train.
This looks like all new construction here. Pallets of bricks. A new driveway put in. A lot of sand to lay the bricks. It's another trash can. And a few businesses dot the right side of the road there. Usually the businesses are much larger than a single family house. So we'll be walking not um, to the outskirts, but we're going to be walking to a uh, kind of a large apartment complex and it's uh, kind of its own neighborhood and a lot of people live there so that's why I'm doing this walking tour because this would be the route that those people walk if they walk it. We're getting very close to these apartments. They are on the right there. So this is this is kind of its own neighborhood. There's a small school. There's um, a church. It's a little overcast and the sun is kind of starting to go down, but I do have enough light to shoot here. They're reusing a lot of tires here in their garden, kind of a decorative form. little paths and a lot of trees. Oh, People hang their clothes on the balconies. There are some public clothes lines. There's a public well. And uh, this is, again, this is a small neighborhood here.
there's parks and there's people able to hang their blankets and clothes. Some off street parking. And again, you will see these yellow gas pipes going from apartment to apartment. Uh, apartments are typically heated with um, with gas. A hot water tank um, and also their hot water is uh, heated the same way and they're just vented out the apartment the fumes they're just vented out the apartment so they typically burn gas for heat. Um, I'm sure that the the homes are gas and maybe wood back up or if somebody owns some property with some wood maybe they would burn uh, wood as a main source of heat. Okay I'm going uphill now and back here there's a lot of uh, garages for the people that live in these apartments so there will be uh, you know lines of garages and there might be a house or two in here as well don't mind the dogs little auto repairs being done and some construction also Looks like it's all dug up here. So these are all garages to the apartments that are not in use right now during construction, at least in this stretch. Now I'm trying to find my way up. Um, I used to know a trail here, so I'm just going to find a trail and take it. Just more garages. Now this looks like a possible trail. Think that one again. I go out vicious. It might have been a trail, but it's well guarded. So usually, typically, there is electricity at these garages so the people can run something. Now, that might even be a house there, somebody living up on top of the garage. All right, I'll try to exit through here now back in Soviet times uh, there was no such thing as private property so they're probably still sorting everything out um, as far as being sorted out I think that Either the government still holds it or, or 
corporation or maybe a private entity now owns this property. It hasn't been used for quite a few decades now. The locals from the apartment complex down below the valley there, they come up and walk these trails up the hill to near the city center. But now, being the beginning of November, all the leaves are off the trees and the fields are brown. But I'm taking this trail that is right behind all the garages. I'm just making my way up the, the hill. There's the valley down below, and I continue up the hill. The garages are mainly made of block or brick and they have kind of a fiberglass roof. It's very common. Kind of a fiberglass coordinate, cor corrugated fiberglass roof. Okay, I'm getting to the pretty much the last bit of garages now. So this is kind of the highest they go, and now it's just pretty much all woods. Little ravine here. Looking down toward the valley, I'm getting much higher now, you can see more. And I'm not quite sure which way to go here. It's uh, The woods is pretty thick so I can't really make my own trail. I really want to go straight up the hill. I don't want to go left or right. I would prefer to go straight up the hill. The woods is pretty thick. This is a pretty good trail. I'm not sure where it'll come out. I'm going to the old Russian factory built in the 1980s. You can see it off in the distance up the hill there. But none of the trails really go straight up the hill. They always go off to the side, so it, it's going to be difficult.
all these trail trails run parallel. There's just nothing quite going up the hill. Aha! This is good enough. I'll blaze I'll blaze through here. It's just open enough. It's awful steep. And very thick. Again, a parallel trail. <laughs> There's no no trail is just going up the hill. But there is the clearing. Kinda steep here. Okay, what we're looking at right here is what would be the kind of the office and administrative part of the factory. Then this would be the offices and whatnot, and then the actual factory. There's the smokestack. And uh, none of this was completed back in the 80s. It was um, abandoned when uh, communism fell. So the locals kind of um, liberated the you know, materials that were left behind and and um, then the government had to sort it out from there who owns what and what's going to happen with the place. It, I believe the at least the smokestack area is actually being used um, but uh, the administration building is totally abandoned. And it's uh, getting near sunset so I'm having a little bit of lighting issues but I think for the most part you can see it. But none of this has been um, tore down or um, it doesn't look like anything's happened for you know since the 1980s actually except except the factory is being used slightly. And there's the valley down below. And there's villages beyond Orhe as well. So we're still slightly going uphill, but we are quite high now. We're at the we're at the peak of of, of the height of Orhe, more or less. Still got a little more to go, but we're we're on the high edge. I'm walking toward the operational part of what was the Soviet factory. And the roads have not been improved. Nothing's been improved here for decades. I think some private property has been established here because the houses are closer than they were 20, 30 years ago now. And it looks like power lines have been established. Then down the hill you can see the lights of Lower Orhe.
So we're pretty much on top of the city now. The power line poles are mainly concrete. Sometimes if they're wood, they're suspended um, in midair on concre concrete poles. Now we're getting into um, a residence area. It looks like curbs have been put in and they'll be laying pavement down for the roadway. So they are establishing private property and housing. So now we're we're pretty much on the top and we're actually probably going to be going down from here. This is some old communist apartment blocks here. Probably built as factory worker homes. Although factory workers would probably have just lived anywhere in Orhe. But this is kind of a hilltop residence. And if you keep looking beyond the, near the horizon, that's another hill area. There's a from here that you go down to the bottom of the valley and then you go back up and you can see the highlands by the horizon there. This is a nice little pathway next to large apartment blocks. So we're getting into an established neighborhood now. But if you continue walking down into the into the valley straight ahead, then you get to the river that runs through Orhe. And we're getting to a main road here. And we're not too far away from the main uh, general hospital of Orhe. There's many doctor's offices and many pharmacies, but there's only one main hospital. And that's a old, or some old houses, and then behind it is some new apartments there. Little stairway here. So we're getting to the main road, and like I say, we're going downhill a little bit, but we're still, you know, way up above everything. Some trash cans and benches. And we made it. I'm going to end the video here at this religious monument. And this is uh, the beginning of the center of Orhe, just 